our city exceptional. We've got, it's a great family community, great housing for families, you know, great recreational opportunities, some of the best golf courses here. Uh, the growth of our city is largely driven by the quality of our exceptional schools and while we don't run the schools here, we certainly have a partnership with them to make sure that they're successful. We have probably one of the best police departments and fire departments in the state of Georgia, constantly getting accolades and awards. We're, we've been named multiple times as one of the safest cities in Georgia and I couldn't be more proud than to call Johns Creek my home. So we moved here from the Los Angeles area in 1999. Our kids were three and five years old. We raised them in Johns Creek. It couldn't have been a better experience for us. One is now out of college. One is a rising junior in college. And we couldn't be more proud of both of them. And I know that when they look back on their childhood, they will be very grateful for having been raised in such uh, an exceptional city like Johns Creek. Yeah, when we first moved here in 1999, the Regal Cinema at State Bridge in 141 had just opened. Uh, there was still a lot of vacant land in the city at that time. Most of that land is now, has now been developed. There are a few parcels that are left. So we've just seen explosive growth in the 17 years in which we've been residents. I think we've done a good job of managing that growth. There are clearly things that we need to do in the future. But my goal, uh, as long as I'm on city council, is to ensure that families that move into Johns Creek in the future, or families that are here now with young kids, will have the same opportunities that my girls had growing up in Johns Creek. I want to make sure that the characteristics of our city, while they're great today, get even better for uh, today's young families and future families that might move here. Well, I've been in, involved in the city from through organizations like the Chamber of Commerce and other uh, pr private organizations in the city. What really got me involved politically was the Fulton County Republican Party asked me to run for chairman of the Fulton County Board of Commissioners back in 2010. And while I wasn't successful in that election, it certainly taught me the basics of running a good campaign. And subsequently uh, ran uh, for city council the next year. Again, wasn't successful came back and have since had two very successful elections and have thoroughly enjoyed my time in the City Council since uh, July of 2014. I think it was my first City Council meeting after being elected in 2014. The Mayor came up to me and said we need a City Council representative on the Public Safety Foundation. Not knowing what it is, uh, but knowing that I really supported our police and fire, I instantly volunteered and uh, quickly realized it was going to be a lot of work. The foundation's mission is to uh, help our police officers and firefighters who are injured in the line of duty, or God help us if anybody's ever killed in the line of duty to help their families, or simply just help their families in, in a time of unusual need. Uh, we've had some very successful fundraising campaigns since I've uh, led the foundation. We've got a great foundation board made up of both city staff as well as residents and our two uh, chiefs as well. And it's uh, really been a, become a great organization and it's a, a great way for me outside of my city council acti activities to give back to this great community. I hope the next 10 years will bring great prosperity for the city. We've got some important economic development goals that will sustain the city financially. Uh, we want to retain the residential character of our city, yet at the same time add amenities that aren't here today. That could be the development of some kind of city center, you know, additional recreational opportunities through expanded parks from land we've acquired today. We've got some great opportunities ahead of us to make the future of Johns Creek even better than what the past 10 years have been. Happy anniversary, Johns Creek. <laughs>